guys, it's Friday, as you can see, I'm in my room again, and like Megan, I have officially chosen my college, Mount Holyoke College in South Hadley, Massachusetts, a women's college. I know I've talked about colleges a lot in my vlogs because it's just been such a stressor for me, like first applying, not knowing where I get in, not knowing where I'd go, like it was really, really tough until I saw all three of the colleges that I had narrowed it down to and then I decided, hey, Mount Holyoke's the one for me, but it is a women's college and women's colleges do get a bad rap. Women's colleges fall under lots of stereotypes and lots of fallacies are attached to them, like everyone at a women's college is a lesbian or a feminazi. If you aren't a lesbian, you will become a lesbian. It's a lesser education. Everyone at a women's college sleeps around a lot. And women's colleges are just a terrible thing. Those, I don't think any of those are true. A few facts about women's colleges. There are about 60 active women's colleges in the US. Approximately six of them are, on the top, are within the top 50 list for best liberal arts college. Many of them are in a consortium. My college, Mount Holyoke, is part of a five college consortium with University of Massachusetts at Amherst, Amherst College, Hampshire, and Smith. And it's great because I, going there, can take classes at UMass if I want to, or Amherst, and then people from UMass or Amherst or Hampshire or Smith can come to my college to take classes too. I don't mean to like completely boost my college or say mine's the best, but because it's a women's college and I know the most about it, I'll just spew a few facts about Mount, Ho Mount Holyoke. It has 13 of the 300 best professors um, ranked by the US News and World Report. That is the most of any college that has professors on that list. It's ranked number three in most caring professors. It just has a beautiful campus. I know it's ranked for something in that. And it's number 10 for best library. I think that's amazing because of its size, because it's really not a big school. It has less than 2,500. It's just... And as far as like the lesbianism thing it goes, because the school is all women, it may seem like a large portion of the campus is a lesbian. But I think in actuality, if you look at the proportion of like co-ed schools and of the female population there, how many do not identify as straight and how many do identify as straight, that proportion will be the same at a women's college, except it just seems greater because there are no guys to compare it to. Yeah. So obviously if you think that you will turn into a lesbian if you go to a women's college. It's completely populated by lesbians and no one there is straight. There's absolutely no dating scene and women's colleges are just a terrible thing. Obviously you did not apply to a women's college, so therefore you don't have to worry about any of those things being a problem for you. But you also have not done the research on it and I think you shouldn't judge something just because it sounds terrible to you. But anyway, now four of the five mediocre teenagers are going to college, which is great. And Sophie will be going to college. She just hasn't gotten there yet. But Sophie, you'll be going to college and we can't wait to see where you choose to go when your time comes. And I'll see you on Monday, Claire. When it breaks my heart, oh, oh.